Oh my god, she's gonna get PTSD by the end of this ride! <laughs> Please end it! For her own sake, she's gonna lose her mind! How's it going, everybody? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Planet Coaster. So we're still on Parky McPark Face, and I gotta be honest, I think it's looking pretty damn good here. Uh, I still gotta put a few more finishing touches on this thing that I made, as well as, you know, my food stand. I kind of want to detail it as much as I detailed this over here. I really am starting to like the look of this. So I'm pretty happy with ev how everything's going. Today, I don't really know what we're going to do. We're not going to do another roller coaster, I don't think. We'll probably put a few more rides around here, but I really do want to keep this confined. So I'm going to put something over here, something over here, and really just beef it up a little bit uh, with some more attractions and whatnot. But before we get into any actual attractions, let's actually finish up this. Uh, I want to put something in here, you know, it's just green grass, it's kind of boring right now, and uh, just make it look a little bit more acceptable in my opinion. Okay, I think I'm going to do like a little planet coaster sign shrubbery design here. So if we go to nature, there's got to be something in here that I can kind of put around this where it's going to, you know, kind of make it pop a little bit. I think I'll put some trees in the background here. Uh, let's just do one of these, and I don't want all the same, though. That's the problem. There's not much nature to choose from, so as you can see over here, I did my best to kind of blend them together to make it look uh, a little less uniform, and I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, what about this tree? Oh, that's a much smaller tree. Actually, maybe I should use those. Okay, and we'll put a little tree there. That looks pretty good. So I just did a little planet coaster, once again, flower arrangement here, I guess rather tree and flower arrangement. There's really not much else I can do <laughs> that's not pirate themed. So yeah, I've been focusing a lot on flowers for that reason because like if you look through here, I mean, there's just, it's all pirate stuff. That's the unfortunate part. Don't get me wrong, I love anything pirates, but uh, I don't want my whole park to be about that. So yeah, I figured we'd just go for a more natural look around here. I'm not gonna do that throughout the whole park, but I do like the look of it, and I'm just realizing it actually looks like a dick, but whatever, that just adds to the uh, excitement of it, I guess you can say. <laughs> Okay, but that's all done. Let's get into a ride, shall we? Is there something in here that we haven't really seen yet? I know we've seen the Sun Flare. Uh, I don't think... No, we have not seen this. You know what? That kind of looks very Ferris Wheel-like. I mean, I know it's not exactly like a Ferris Wheel, but there's really nothing close to even a Ferris Wheel in this. So we're going to put this... Where should we put a round design? Okay, I think I'm going to put it right here, only because I want to actually start splitting these paths off. I'm going to uh, put the queue line on this path over here. That way we don't have so much congestion just on this one main road. That wasn't my initial plan. I'm actually going to build off of this as well, but we'll get to that later on. Anyways, let's just put this here for right now. I think that's a good enough spot, and I can do a few designs around it. Okay, and let's actually start building this path as well. We're just going to build it straight past it, I think, for right now. Now, I don't really know where I'm going to put this queue line yet. I think I'll just put it somewhere right over here. Okay, now it's time to decide where I want to put this entrance. I guess I could put the entrance over here as well, but I do want a little bit of a queue line. Actually, no, yeah, I'm going to put it over here, and I think I'll put the exit to the main spot. Uh, that way, you know, the traffic congestion hopefully dies down a little bit. I mean, it's not too bad right now. We do have a really thick walkway so it shouldn't be too bad but again i just don't want everybody just going down this one lane so we will place the exit well we can just do it just like this right here that's actually perfect right between the lamp po posts and everything it's like i planned it out and we'll add a very small queue line to this i think that should be more than enough and we'll just add that ticket booth let's make this nice and straight let's actually rotate this a little bit so it's even more straight there we go that should be good Okay, and it is open for business, <laughs> as you can clearly see. Holy shit, I didn't expect so many people to be into this thing. Maybe I should have built a better queue line. All right, let's slow this down. Oh, okay, so it's a lot like one of those swing sets. You just kind of go at a decent speed and swing a little bit sideways. I guess we can ride it for a second here, just to see how it is. I mean, we probably get a good idea of what's going on right now, but it's, that, it's always different in first person. Oh, yeah, we are having a great time. It looks like maybe a father and son and his date? I don't know. I don't know who I am. Oh, I'm probably the wife. Oh, this is just a cute little family now, isn't it? I am getting fucking dizzy already, though. We're actually going a little bit sideways. This is fun. 
Oh yeah, this is making me really dizzy. Are we going faster now? Like, I can't really tell, but I feel like we're going much faster. Okay, I think that's enough for me. I'm, I'm about to freaking vomit on this thing. It's not even that fast. It just feels like it. My god, what the hell is going on? This Okay, this ride is not worth this much, guys. Seriously, look at the traffic jam here. All right, guys. Well, I hope the wait is worth it for you. I don't even know what these guys are doing. Are they technically waiting there or is it just so congested because nobody else can get in line and they're just going backwards now? I find it hilarious because there's only 601 people in my park. <laughs> they're actually running. They're so excited for this new ride. They're actually running. I think that's a, that's a sign that I should maybe build a few more rides and stop focusing so much on the details. You can see there's not many people actually over here. Look at this. There's like one person on this ride now. This new carousel thing has taken over the popularity of my park. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do because there's so many people coming over here, you know what? We may as well just put an, another ride right on the other side here. We have enough room to do maybe a Ferris wheel. Uh, generally, you want Ferris wheels at the start of the park as well. This star wheel is fucking huge. Is there any bigger ones though? Okay, yes, this is in fact the large one. Do we really want something like that there? I kind of like the idea of having something that looks very similar to this over here there. Ah, uh, ooh, this is a cool looking ride, actually. I didn't, ever, I didn't even see this one before. Actually, you know what? To utilize space, I'm going to put this thing over here as well. And what we're going to do is place the entrance right beside this other queue line. That way we can utilize this space as a uh, queue line space. And we will just simply place another exit right here. So hopefully they'll exit this ride and then go on this ride. My strategies are real, guys. Okay, and we'll just add a queue to this entrance. So we'll just wrap it kind of close to this thing. And I really don't know what I'm doing here. I don't even know where I'm going to attach it. Let's just attach it by our actual food court over here. Okay, and there we go. Another ride done. Let's open up this thing. I'm curious to see how this thing actually works. I'm, I'm assuming very similar actually to this thing over here. Okay, but we clearly got some interested people here. You can see the wave of people coming over to try out this new ride. They're not running though. Sometimes they actually run at the start. They get really excited. So, don't know how good this ride's gonna be, but it does look freaking awesome. I mean, look at this. There's purple elephants on this, and we got this cool little statue in the middle. And once again, they're all running around to get on, on this ride. This is so cool. Let's ride with them once again. Okay, I have a very happy little girl beside me, and I'm a very happy little boy. <laughs> we are so excited. Okay, so it's one of these rides. Oh, that's cool. It even smokes, where it just goes up and down and around. So probably a little bit more intense than the other ride beside us. I think, uh, is she scared? Oh, are you scared? Please don't be scared, your little face. <laughs> the lips are flapping in the wind. Oh my god, she's so scared. I feel bad for her. Oh my god, she's gonna get PTSD by the end of this ride. <laughs> Please end it. For her own sake, she's gonna lose her mind. I mean, freaking out girl aside, this looks like a pretty cool ride though. A nice relaxed little uh, rotational ride where you're going up and down. Pretty damn fun. I'm sorry she disagrees. <laughs> Let's go see how other people are doing here. Yeah, you can see there's me. I'm having my time of my life. She is not liking it. Neither is this guy back here. <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, and there we go. Another simple ride done. Now, I'm going to keep doing rides here because, you know, usually when I go to amusement parks, there's not too many roller coasters. Maybe two or three major ones and a lot of freaking rides. Oh my god, we are traffic jammed so badly. Maybe that was a mistake to make not very big queue lines. I mean, this one's quite big to be fair and still people are everywhere. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just keep going ride after ride here. I know there's gonna be something small that can fit here. The Screaminator, oh, a little too big. Sun Flare, way too big. Oh my god, I forgot about this one. We have to do this one as well. There's so many new rides that I haven't seen. Like, this one we haven't seen as well. So I, you know what? We're, we're just gonna have a ride day. I'm gonna put down a bunch of rides, and then we can detail them later. Okay, the only thing that will fit here is the Whirly Rig. Now, I do want to utilize as much space as possible, so we're going to put it here. But this is probably a bad idea because there's just really not enough space for a queue line. I actually might move this queue line to go around this and maybe attach back to the side here. Okay, I'm going to try exactly that. We are going to get this to fit in there, damn it. I'm just going to put this queue line all the way around the damn thing because it's in such high demand. I think it's going to need one anyways. 
Okay, there we go. Add ticket booth, and that should give us a little bit more space. And I actually like the way it looks as well. It looks a, bit, a lot more clean. So we will open that back up for business, and let's try this again here. Actually, we can probably place the entrance a little bit further over now. That way, it's going to give us enough room to hopefully fit there. We actually got to delete that road piece as well. So if we go to pass, delete that. There we go. I just deleted a bunch of people. Holy shit, what's going on? Okay, there we go. It should be good. All right, add the queue to the entrance. We are just going to try and fit as much of a queue as we can in here. Uh, we might actually be able to do a decent queue because I can do the little zigzag thing that's going on right now. And then if we add a ticket booth, oh yeah, we should be able to do this just fine. Ah, okay, something like that should be just fine. There we go. Let's open up this thing as well. Now, we've already ridden this, and it's not <laughs> like it's that cool of a ride. It's more of a kiddie ride than anything else, and you do got to cater the, to the kids from time to time. So there we go. Three rides in uh, a short amount of time. Uh, once again, we're having a population issue here. I might have to actually expand this road if it gets too bad. I'm hoping once we spread out the attractions, i got to put some more attractions down here, that people will simply spread out uh, because there's simply more to do. But if this keeps up when we have like 10 to 15 rides, then I'll actually start fixing it and dealing with the congestion issues. Oh my god, look at all the kids. They're so excited. And the weird adults are joining them as well. Okay, let's not go into too much detail in terms of scenery here, but I am going to add just a few random trees here to kind of make it look nice. Sometimes these trees, they really are a bitch to put down, as you can see. Uh, we're going to put that one there. Look, can we do one here? Come on, you can't do one right here. There's nothing hitting it. I, I, I guess when this thing goes up, it might technically hit it. And you know what? We'll put a Coaster King statue right here just because we have the space to do it oh yeah this is looking fantastic i'm loving the look of this part so far okay let's do one more ride here because i saw one that might be good for this long stretch of land here there's actually something called the genie something that we haven't seen holy shit it's bigger than i thought <laughs> okay now this becomes an issue because first of all it's not really gonna fit there my god what i don't even get this thing i'm assuming they sit on that carpet and you just go back and forth I wonder if there's anything else that's maybe better for here. Okay, let's get a big attraction here, shall we? We got the hammer swing, something we haven't seen before, so why not try to... I'm just going to put it right here just like that, and I might attach this path to the actual uh, attraction. Okay, unfortunately, you can't actually place the entrance on these little humps to the side, so I guess i got to place the entrance... Uh, actually, maybe I should place the entrance to the other side, I'm thinking. So if we go over here... Yeah, let's do it right here, and we'll place the exit over here. Actually, let's just place the exit right at the front of it, just like this. There we go. That should look fine, just like that. And we can do a little queue line over here. I'll probably try and do a, quite a big queue line, actually. Because i got to assume this ride is going to get a lot of attraction. Okay, that should be a decent enough queue line. We'll do something like that. There we go. Uh, let's control Z that, actually, because I don't think there's going to be enough spot for the ticket booth if I didn't do that. So there we go. Once again, we are done. <laughs> Another attraction. I love how quickly uh, the actual rides are in this game. Let's open it up, and I'm curious to see how this one works. I'm assuming these things just swing around, and they're absolutely huge. But I have no idea, actually. All right, let's let the people come in and get on this ride, and then we're going to join them as well. Not actually as much demand as I expected. Other people were, like, running to the other rides. All right, let's ride this thing. Okay, so yeah, it's just basically a very big swing set from what I'm seeing. Okay, and here we are in first person. Oh my god, did this in VR, <laughs> this would kill me. A good spot for it, though. You feel like you're going to crash into the humans on the ground. All right, come on, do a flip, do a flip, let's do it. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, it doesn't do a flip, it's just a very big swing. That's no fun, I was expecting this huge thing to do a flip. I guess now that I look at it, this bar at the top would make that physically impossible. So, uh, cool little ride, I've never seen something like that before though. Okay guys, we're gonna end this one here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Planet Coaster on the Parky McPark face. We did add quite a bit today and uh, kind of beefed up this park, which is what I wanted to do. And I think it was a complete success because there's a hell of a lot more people around our park as well now. And everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.